name is Tom Drake. I'm from the great state of New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Still live there? No, absolutely not. Me either. I was born and raised in New Jersey. I now make my home on the west coast of Florida, a little small town called Fort Myers. Have you ever heard about it? I live there. Actually, me and 300,000 retired people from Columbus, Ohio. We all live there together. If you haven't heard, we have a lot of retired people living in Florida now. In fact, Cadillac just came out with an option for Florida only. You can order a sedan to build with a bifocal windshield. I think it's a hell of an idea. See where they're going on Tuesdays. I've been in Florida a long time. It's different than Jersey. Police cars are different. They all have blue lights on top. In New Jersey, they have red lights. First time I got pulled over in Florida, I thought that Kmart had mobile units. I had no idea. So long, I'm starting to like country music. I don't know if that was supposed to happen, or if I had a car accident or an aneurysm. But if you listen to country music, they actually talk a lot about wine. Mickey Gilly has a song, the lyric that says, "Pass me another glass of red rosy wine." Heard another guy with a song, "I got red wine and blue memories." I have worked a lot of country bars in the South during my joyous career. Never once have I sat down at the bar next to a good old boy who was swishing a glass of Beaujolais, <laughs> going, "Damn, Bubba, this one's got some bouquets." What I tell you. I don't know the year, but the nuances are very unusual on this one. Here, Jether, why don't you dip your tooth in that and see if you guess what region it came from. I did that once in a place called Okeechobee, Florida. I got about the same response now that I think about it. Nobody from Okeechobee, is there? And I should explain, in case we have anybody from outside of Florida, the United States, uh, Okeechobee is a nice place of your livestock. And I was working there many years ago. And I should explain that I'm Irish Catholic from New Jersey. I've had 13 years of Catholic education. I've been drunk since I was six. I've been beaten by nuns. And I'm brain damaged. And I pretty much say whatever the hell I want. And I don't worry about it. And we have something in Florida called the palmetto bug. It's kind of like a roach that can fly. If, if you're from Louisiana, you would probably boil it and try to suck the juice out of it. Because... If you ever been in the world, if those bio people lead a tire, as long as you boil it for a week and a half, then it'll be like, hey, Bubba, this rub is good, some hot sauce on chew on that, chew it, good, that you you moron. Anyway, I'm working at Okeechobee. I finish the show, and I'm sitting at the bar after the show, and a couple of good old boys come over, and they're both drunk, which is really unusual in this part of Florida. Trust me, you never see this. Two drunk rednecks in Okeechobee at 11 in the morning, and they're huge. One guy's about six foot six, the other one's almost seven feet, he's bald, ugly, mean. Look like the former governor of Minnesota, if I can use <laughs> Are you guys from Minnesota? Yeah. yeah. You want to come up and tell us what the hell you were thinking? Come on, we're still dying to know. We're still curious after all these years. Once again, let me explain if you've never spent any time in the United States. The former governor of Minnesota, his name was Jesse Ventura. Before he became the governor, he used to run around in his underwear with makeup on and call himself Jesse the Body. Then one day, that guy put him in charge of the government. We're still not sure why. We, this figure was cold. That's the best we can come up with. You know? We know in California, that got Schwarzenegger in, but we're not sure what happened in Minnesota. But anyway... Arnie's doing a good job. Anyway, I'm sitting in Okeechobee at the, at the bar, and these two tree trunks come over. I mean, they're huge. And the one guy hits me in the arm and goes, so you're from Jersey, huh, Yankee boy? And right away, I'm thinking, shut your mouth, let it go, but I'm too stupid. So I turn around and go, yeah, I'm from Jersey. He hits me again, he goes, I heard in Jersey you have cockroaches. I said, yep, some of them hold elected office. We got a point to this interruption? He whacks me again, he goes, you're in Florida now, Yankee boy. Down here we got us palmetto buzz. Them's roaches that can fly. Like this was a big deal to the guy. So little old Cooper, I don't want to ruin your night or nothing, but Jersey roaches can fly, they just don't want them. <laughs> you see in New Jersey, the roaches are union. It's a whole different thing in New Jersey, right? That, our roaches are teamsters. They get 90 an hour, they lay on the floor, and they don't do squat. That's how it works. <laughs> In fact, if you see 15, 20 roaches together in Jersey, you'll see some traffic cones, a flag guy, and the rest of them grabbing themselves waiting for the coffee truck. It's a different universe in the Garden State. Right? 